Hello, I'm doing comparison. I want to do a comparison between my three computers. I have an old, older, like two year old MacBook Pro 13 base model uh, with an Intel processor, with an Intel CPU. I have a new, yesterday I bought a Mac Air, MacBook Air M1 16G version. And I have a PC with Windows 11 with NVIDIA RTX 3070 and Ryzen 3900 3900X, I think, and uh, 32 Gs of RAM. So I wanted to make a comparison between them on the Blender, Blender 3.0 release candidate. Today it's uh, 1st December in six days, if I remember correctly, there will be new version 3.0 with uh, new cycle sex and uh, but without without and that's important for max without uh, rendering metal rendering so without any gpu processing power in blender for 3.0 month ago they told us that uh, in the near future 3.1 will have a metal rendering so the max will be significantly faster the file you will see it's just my own. I'm doing now 19th century train. As an amateur, I'm learning Blender since a year. I think, yeah, I started once uh, a year ago in November. So it's, uh, mm, yeah, so it's on my own work. And yeah, we will see how it will compare. Yeah, thanks. Okay, it's going. So let's do it. Shading and now render. Render image. How long will it take to render this? Yeah, it's three minutes later and it just made almost yeah, thirty samples from five twelve. Yeah, I think it will be two hours exactly as he's Showing here remaining time one fifty nine. Sorry, I'm not going to to uh, to record all that. Okay, it's the next day. Yesterday I have no time to show it. It was dark, so it finished in an hour and thirty five minutes. Hour and thirty five minutes. The thing I wanted I forget to show you is that I'm of course using cycles uh, of course feature set supported on this Mac Intel Mac is just supported you can't make a GPU compute or you can or like he's using I think just the CPU for this so denoising is automatic and uh, in, uh, in, in the viewport is automatic and denoising in, in rendering is open image denoise so it's Intel on Intel so shouldn't shouldn't be so bad. Okay, so yeah, so this is the one. Now I'm starting doing the the new MacBook Air M1, 16G of RAM. Yeah, so I'm back with Intel because I wanted also to show you how how it is important to have a good uh, good uh, render preview, like a viewport shading. It's what it's called, yeah, but a render preview. Because if you need like to change a color or something and you want to see how it looks so you need in viewport you need to have it rendered fast like now it's not fast like now it's three frames it's three th like four samples in 32 and it's waiting like yeah it's not so bad you can do it it's usable but it's very slow it's very slow and <laughs> with this with this computer I think it would be better just to leave it like here uh, in the max sample I think it's one or two maybe or three because it will be all the time rendering and all the time it will use his own his own fans and it will be totally totally hot all the time and of course it will drain the battery if you are using battery I would not recommend using battery during rendering this or even using blender at all 
yeah so so you see how it looks like yeah and it's not so bad not so bad but of course it's far far from okay far from okay it's much better to use just the preview like this yeah it's smooth rather smooth yeah rather smooth okay so finished with Intel Mac now let's let's go to the M1 all right this is M1 M1 MacBook Air 16 G's of RAM uh, same file exactly same file without any 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 changes uh, it was synced to, uh, by a Dropbox on our on my twin computers is the same file it will be the same file and of course it will be the same blender like a uh, 3.0 release candidate and what let's 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 see uh, this is, of course the mm, settings are the same so it cycles supported uh, here 32 and denoising of course automatic and here denoising on open image denoise uh, what else it's 16 G's of RAM and the, in the MacBook Pro it was uh, 8 G's of RAM on Intel one so of course it's uh, it's another thing Mm, that you could not directly compare 8 G's to 16 G's, uh, but still you see what is the difference. What will be the difference um, if you're you know considering buying M1? Maybe just consider 16 G's. Yes, and it's of course more future proof. For sure, it would be. All right, so let's let's do it. Let's start the render. Let's start rendering it. Yeah. All right, it's starting, and as I see, what's the time? Like, it will take uh, 43 minutes. Yeah, I think it will be faster. Yesterday it was uh, showing uh, two hours on Intel, on Mac Intel MacBook Pro, so I think it will be even faster here. But still, we can see that it is, mm, uh, it is nearly like even for now it says it's 43 minutes it will be twice as fast as the other one as the Intel one but I think it will be faster it will be faster for sure I think it will take something about 3 30 minutes uh, yeah of course and one of the most important things to consider is that it is a version 3.0 or a release candidate no, but it's like 3.0 but maybe with some bugs and it will not it will not support gpu computing this mac uh, with a version 3.1 like a uh, finished 3.1 will have uh, it will support metal rendering metal as a gpu renderer so it will be much more fast much more f much faster all right i'm back and it's finished and it's 37 minutes 39 seconds so it's uh twice twice less like uh almost three times three times less time than the previous mac uh, book pro on intel yeah it looks 37 37 minutes 39 seconds yeah just the cpu rendering on 3.0 release candidate so I think it will be even maybe twice as fast or even even three times f as fast when it will be on 3.1 with uh, with a GPU also. Yeah, and now, so this is done. I'm quitting it and I want to show you how it looks like on the on the viewport, on the viewport with shading. Yeah, so it looks it looks much faster it's not so fast as on uh, 3070 of course there it's just instantaneous it's like in a, in a in a few seconds it's like one two three and it's done here we have like you know uh, one sample yeah it's now slower three samples yeah but for me now it looks like it is faster it is faster it's responsive it's not like that it's computer is f just uh, freezing for a second or two because it started to rendering it it's like much more fluid not perfect not perfect far from it it's 3070 it's 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 a beast 3070 it's doing it like in the real time almost really it's so good 
I will show you later. But now, this one, as I, as you can see, looks quite okay. It's usable. It's usable. It's usable completely. You can you can work on it uh, during your holidays or when you have you know, free time during on the on the on the bus and or whatever you can do it even if you're working on it it's still usable of course i think you will have a problem uh, with rendering <laughs> you can just sit and render for 37 minutes with this but still yeah 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 you can i think it's totally workable almost unworkable on macbook pro 13 yeah with intel almost unworkable really this year on holidays, uh, I tried. I tried really hard, and it's so. It was so annoying, really, so annoying. You can use just just the preview, like this, like a share, what's it called, uh, yeah, viewport shading. Okay, so it's like a you know, preview. This this preview, yeah, it was okay, but still, it's it's nothing compared to to the thirty seventy, of course. All right, now we are on. 3070 with a Ryzen 3900, so it's 12 core processor, 24 threads, 3080 with 8 Gs of, of VRAM, and what 4K monitor, same setting as there, it's like 4K export, 4K export, RGB, 8 PNG, and uh, cycles supported, GPU compute, and of course, as with NVIDIA, it's optics, it's optics, of course, it's perfect, really, it's twice as fast as CUDA. And here, same, same settings, uh, denoising on with optics, and denoising with optics on the rendering. And, yeah, and now watch, render, render image, go. It's so fast, I'm not going to quit and quit on recording as it will be just two minutes even less yeah two minutes or five less than two minutes one minute 48 one minute 44 of course it's maxing out on pc 49 seconds past 50 seconds past remaining 50 maybe something around 50 yeah we wait we will wait 30 seconds more and I think it will be even faster yeah 20 seconds something around you see the difference is massive it's like it's massive you can't compare it to anything 3070 with a 12 core processor flies around yeah it's done 1 minute 41 seconds compared to 30 almost 8 minutes on the M1 and <laughs> almost two hours on the on the Intel like come on it's one minute 41 seconds for the same same exact so yeah I would like to see how on this file the new M1, M1 Max and M1 Pro compare but I think there is just no comparison like this just flies course we can do it someday maybe I'll borrow from someone and then of course when we're in uh, 3.1 we'll be ready for M1s yeah so this is it how the viewport shading looks but see it's like bam it's done it's like you can uh, you see the just the few shadows few few samples few ghosts on uh, on the uh, on the windows but then it really it just flies around really look shit one two three four five seven ten for sixteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty thirty yeah it's done few seconds this is I think the most important because it's like you can almost work in the viewport uh, in the in the sh shading viewport mode yeah you can almost work you can for sure you can try materials you don't need just this you just don't need this uh, window like it's it's not like you don't need it better just go for the best one for the best look for the most realistic look yeah 
I'm surprised that M1 is so much better than the Intel one than the MacBook Pro 12. But still, you can't compare it to just the pure pure power. Of course, it's compared to the with the uh, with the electricity. I think it's much much better. My, my M1 is much much better. But still, if you need just a raw power, this flies really. 3070 with a with a 12 core Ryzen, it just flies around. Yeah, so thank you. I, I maybe someone will we. Uh, it will be helpful for someone uh, trying thinking about investing money on hardware. If you just need raw power, just go for a PC. You can't. You just cannot. You just cannot compare it. If you want to have like a usable usable laptop, just you can learn Blender there. You can use it for light lighter work or something yeah you can do it you for sure you can do it you can just raise it for night for a render bigger render or something uh but you can make up some batch or something uh but if you need just a raw power or in or real time rendering yeah go for pc don't 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 hesitate there is no comparison yeah thank you